in today's artificial intelligence class we will see the speech recognition uh, that will come under fourth unit natural language for communication under this topic we will see uh, the speech recognition system the issues in speech recognition system after that we will see three models that is noise channel model acoustic model language model after that building a speech recognition system and accuracy of this system so let us see all those things in today's class one by one speech recognition system the task of this system is to identify the sequence of words spoken by the speaker given the acoustic audio signal that is the audio signal will be understood by the system and it will perform the work accordingly okay and nowadays it is the most popular uh, application of artificial intelligence and people are interacting the computer system which with the voice command okay and they are using this system to navigate voice mail and to search web from mobile phones and voice text voice to text conversion and other applications so these are important applications of speech recognition system uh, that means if the speech recognition system is very attractive option when hand free operation is necessary when operating the machinery so without touching the machinery through voice we can give commands to the system the most general speech recognition system is it is a software program that accept the sound as input and the sound will be converted into the written text language that is written language okay the text the sound will be converted into text the text will be understood by both computer as well as the human right and this sa system uses four steps to convert speech to text the first one is analyze the audio and second one is break into parts and third one digitize into a computer readable format and fourth one use an algorithm to match to the most suitable text representation okay so these four are uh, the steps to convert voice into the text okay first analyze the audio break into parts digitize into computer readable format that is the breaking parts will be converted into computer language after that the algorithm map the text into more that is more suitable text representation next let us see the issues in speech recognition system uh, the system that is speech recognition is very difficult because the sound made by the speaker are ambiguous okay that means the same word may be pronounced by different way by different people right and sometimes uh, the recording is very noisy also okay let us see one example for this here recognize speech and recognize speech so these two sentences give somewhat similar sound okay so the speech recognition is a difficult process there are three issues in this sa system first one is segmentation and second one is co articulation and third one is homophone okay when come to segmentation see if the words are uh, in written format and there should be a space between the words but when come to uh, speech there should not be any pass between the words okay so this is uh, the first issues in the uh, sr system that is segmentation okay if there is a pass between words then we can easily understand the words but while uh, speaking fast there should not be any pass between all the words isn't it hence see recognize recognize okay that will be similar as recognize okay so the system will get confusion whether this is a single word or three different words and next when come to articulation co articulation when speaking quickly the s sound at the end of nice okay end of nice uh, merges with b sound with the beginning of beach okay that is recognize and this will be combined and this will uh, come close to sp okay so this is co articulation that is words of the end letter of 
first word and the beginning letter of second word will be mixed together and the homophones okay here uh, the words two 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 all the two will be similar but they are having different meaning okay the sound will be same for all the three words and next let us move to different models in speech recognition system first one is noisy channel model acoustic model and language model let us see all those things one by one noisy channel model here the original voice message is transmitted over a noisy channel such as telephone lines and the corrupted message are received at the other end for example the sender will send the voice message through a telephone line and the receiver um, sender receiver receiver will receive the corrupted message okay because of this noisy channel the message will get corrupted right see here um, ceiling fan and this ceiling fan both uh, are 500 times similar okay if we send the ceiling fan at the source side the receiver can receive this particular ceiling fan okay and this is possible to recover the original message with some very small errors okay by encoding the original message if we encode and send the original message then the receiver will receive only the correct message and the applications here the speech recognition machine translation spelling correction and other task okay the second one is acoustic model acoustic means sound the sound waves are prop, uh, periodic changes in pressure that propagate through the air okay so based on the pressure the sound of your word will get changed since we want only to know which word were spoken spoken not exactly what they sounded like that may be two or two here which word was actually spoken is very important and we need to distinguish between the different speech sound see for that the linguistic which has identified 100 speech sounds sounds are otherwise called as phones that can be composed from all words in all human languages okay for that the linguistic is composed here the phone phone is nothing but sound isn't it so sound is correspond to single vowel or consonant a e i o u are vowels all other words are consonants okay but there are some complications um, while speaking those while speaking those words okay so uh, for example the combination of letters th this is it and ng is ing okay so this produces a single sound two words will produce a single sound so this is very difficult here so identifying the variation in sound which is also important okay so if we spoke uh, loud or soft fast or slow male voice or female voice etc so for a single word how the word will get changed in the variation of sound is also very important so this is the table given by alphabet alphabet is nothing but advanced research project agency phonetic alphabet okay this is exclusive for american english here uh, we are having both the vowels and uh, consonants uh, how those vowels will be pronounced and there are some other uh, alternative notations al uh, also there that is international phonetic alphabet that is ipa which contains the phones of all known languages the speech system translates the audio signal into a sequence of frames okay so frame is nothing but the time slice of signal right in this diagram each frame is described by discrete values of three acoustic features so this is the first one second one and third one the first one is acoustic signal and this is uh, sampled quantized digital signal that is that will be convert analog will be converted into digital after that from the digital signal it is extracting the frames and 
uh, the overlapping frames the frames will be overlapped here this is f1 f2 f3 isn't it so f1 f2 f3 are overlapped each other okay why because um, in the boundary in the frame boundary the signals will be lost so that if we overlap those frames then we won't miss the sound signal the next one is phone model it has three states onset middle and end three states are there for example let us take the a letter t so based on the place of this t the phone has silent in the beginning and a small explosive burst sound in the middle and usually hissing in the end so in the place where the t will come accordingly the sound will get changed in normal speech the average phone uh, duration is 50 to 100 milliseconds or 5 to 10 frames so the diagram gives uh, an hidden markov model for three state phone m for the letter m okay each has several possible outputs see each has several possible output it may be output to next state or the self state with its phone probability okay and the output of probability for the phone hmm also given here for one set three output may be there based on the probability for middle set and end also uh, the corresponding probability are given in this diagram the self loop in each state allows variation in uh, variation in the duration okay how long a particular letter will be uh, pronounced like uh, the suppose if the self loop in middle state that mid state uh, for example the m sound will be long m sound right suppose if we bypass this particular self loop then it will give short m sound pronunciation model suppose if you want to pronounce a particular word then it will call the pronunciation model here two pronunciation models are uh, there uh, to pronounce a word tomato okay uh, these models will be explained by using a transition diagram here states are represented as circles and arrows which are allowed transitions with their associated probabilities okay so the first model uh, the word model with the dialect variation and second one is the word model with co-articulation and dialect variation the next one is language model a language model can be an engram model it will learn from the written sentences right the spoken language has different characteristics when compared to written language the spoken language sometimes completely different from written language uh, here a task specific uh, speech recognition that means uh, the speech recognition system for particular application the corpus should be task specific okay all the written sentences should be specifically only for particular application for example to build your own airline reservation system and this task specific recognition should also helpful task specific vocabulary that means it will give list of all airports and cities as well as the flight numbers and all regarding informations we can get from this system building a speech recognizer uh, to build a speech recognizer the quality is important the quality of speech recognition system depends on quality of its components which model we are using that is the language model word pronunciation model and phone model so based on this the quality will get changed here the signal processing algorithm used to extract special features from this acoustic signal that is the audio signal okay here the large pronunciation dictionaries are now available uh, not only for english but also all the uh, most popular languages and their accuracy is greatly different that is the accuracy will be varied building a model from corpus is more difficult than building engram model of text because in the engram model 
uh, we have used the hidden Markov model that is HMM model here the phone sequence for each word and the phone state for each time frame are hidden variable hence we can easily extract if we use n-gram model but in recent days the EM algorithm will be very popular that means uh, why because the EM model uh, will automatically supply the missing data. Here the system with the highest accuracy which required training with different model for each speaker thereby capturing difference in each language as well as the male voice and female voice and other variations. So with all those variations it is important to give training uh, to the system and it will take very uh, long time that is several hours it required for interaction with the each speaker ok so that we will get a very accurate uh, system. Next is the accuracy of speech recognition system. Uh, here the accuracy of the system depends on number of factors. First one is the quality of signal and the vocabulary size and the task. So based on these things the accuracy will get changed. The first one is quality of signal. So if you get very high quality signal we have to use high quality directional microphone. Uh, very high quality uh, and that should be directed microphone and with a stationary mouth in a padded room that is sealed room then the signal will be very accurate. Suppose if we use a very cheap microphone and the transmitting signal over the telephone line or from a car in a traffic or the radio playing in a traffic which will produce very poor quality. The second one is vocabulary size that means so based on the vocabulary size also the accuracy of system will get changed and uh, let us see one example for this when recognizing the digit string with vocabulary of 11 words 11 words between 0 to 9 plus O plus 0 if we use only those words then the error rate will be below 0 0.5 percent. Suppose if we use those words with 200 other different words then the error rate will become 10 percent and if we use the same thing with 64,000 words of vocabulary then the error rate will increase up to 20 percent. The accuracy of the system will affect based on task also. If we give if we generate a task based system for example uh, book flight uh, or giving direction to the restaurant then the accuracy will be very high. Suppose it is multitasking system then the accuracy will be very low. So far we have seen the speech recognition system from fourth unit natural language for communication. Under this system we have seen what is mean by speech recognition and the issues in speech recognition system. After that we have seen different models that noisy channel model, acoustic model. In the acoustic model we have seen the table of phonetical uh, that is American English phonetics and uh, the phone model. In the phone model, phone model means uh, pronouncing a particular word, pronunciation model means pronouncing a single word. Okay, So these two are uh, that will also come under acoustic model only after that we have seen language model then building a speech recognition and accuracy of the system and uh, for more information please go through your textbook in the next class we will see another important topic from fourth unit thank you